In such a case, I think it will reduce a cost. Because we know that the process of the DNA, it can take long and the government can spend a lot of money. So we are suggest to make a mass barrier in case to reduce the government cost. From there, the commission of the mutual, he said, we are not able to make a mass barrier while all the people must be identified. Commissioner Nelius Becker, the head of the Forensic Science Institute, says DNA and reference samples of victims and family members have already been collected. However, the actual profiling has not yet begun because of a lack of reagents and consumables. He admitted that the process is lengthy and costly, adding that there is a backlog of 4,700 cases of rape, murders and accidents with some dating back to 2012. Two DNA kits have already been ordered last year, and the process of identifying the bodies will start as soon as they are delivered. A DNA kit, he said, costs between 1.5 to 1.7 million dollars, and only 60 cases can be completed with one kit. It is no secret, we all know that it's these economic hardships at the moment, so we have to, we have to try and, and um, come up with uh, the most the biggest priority cases in order to try and, and solve them. Now we also, we're not saying that the loss of life and the identification of victims is not a priority. It is definitely a priority to us. But we also have very serious criminal matters which has been, uh, has been set aside on a previous occasion because of another accident on the B1 in 2020. Now all of those victims were eventually identified with DNA. So that case was finalized. Commissioner Becker noted that although it is not currently possible to finalize the victims' cases at the same time, the plan is to plow in all that is required to complete the work. In this modern day and age, unfortunately, there is legal requirements. You have to make sure that the person is identified, um, uh, and the right person is being is being given to the family for burial, etc. So. That is the unfortunate situation. So we are definitely, we're not giving up. Uh, we're not stopping the process. We're just asking the family members to bear with us a little bit. Despite the expensive nature of the test, only $8 million was allocated to the lab in the current financial year, which the commissioner says is not sufficient considering the workload and operational duties. Siamantikwa, NBC News, Vantuk.